All right. Hey, Jeremy, you're really on it. We were just running from the back room to the front, and he's running to the back room. Anyway, it's a wonderful thing to be here this evening, and we praise the Lord for this opportunity for all of us to get together. Welcome to Girl Talk Week 3, and um, why don't you guys take a seat? And um, I just want to say I am so excited about what the Lord's going to be doing tonight. As you can see, we have some fun things planned, lots of fun things planned up here on the stage. And um, it's going to be an exciting time. But before we begin with anything, let's commit this night to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we are so blessed by the fact that you are the God of the heavens. And as the universe sings, sings, sings of your glory and your praise, and we we think about the stars and the moon and the planets and all of their places that you have put, Lord. You have, you have in your divine plan arranged for us to be here tonight. You have arranged for us to hear these words this evening. And we pray, Lord, that we would have ears to hear all that you have to say to us. We want to worship you. We want to know you better. We want to hear the thing that you want to say to each of us that we might leave tonight with that one word that will help us as we consider the theme of our evening, standing strong when the winds blow hard. And so, Lord, we commit this day to you, this night to you, and all that is planned for us, Lord, we pray for those that are visiting that you would just help them to feel welcome and loved and that you are reaching out through all of this, to say how much you love them. And so we praise you for that. We thank you for this evening, and we commit it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to welcome all of you. How many of you are visiting tonight to Girl Talk for the first time? Wow. Oh, there's a, there's a whole cluster right in here. Well, welcome, and we are so happy that you got to join us. We have had a tremendous two weeks, but it is not over yet. We've got tonight and the next evening, uh, next Wednesday evening with a fabulous speaker as well, but um, we have an awesome demo planned for you. And I'm going to ask my daughter-in-law, Brittany, and for those of you that don't attend Virtue or don't attend this church, I want to introduce my daughter-in-law. This is Brittany Renan, and um, she has incredible talents, one of which, and I have to brag, the Virtue website, which is awesome, posts all of our teachings and our lessons online, plus creative stuff, crafts, recipes, you name it. Um, Brittany has pretty much the oversight of that entire website, and we just Thank you, Brittany. I know it's true. She's got two little ones at home, plus another career as well as a hairstylist. But she does all of this, juggles all these things, and does it so well. In addition to that, she's going to be sharing the demo tonight. I'm going to turn it over to you, Brittany. Tell us what's okay. going on up here. Well, this is um, preparing us for next week, lady. We've been, ladies. We've been um, building up this repurposed clothing sale, and you might have heard us talk about it, but we are super, super excited. We're going to have a bunch of clothes that have been donated by you, um, and we are going to have them for sale at super reasonable prices. I'm talking like a couple dollars for shirts and dresses, and they are some really great items. So I'm going to go over some clothing things and just um, hopefully inspire you, and um, hopefully we'll see you next week week a little bit early or maybe right after the study to do some shopping. So um, I want to start by reading you Proverbs 31, a part of it. It says, a good woman is hard to find and worth far more than diamonds. Her husband trusts her without reserve and never has reason to regret it. Never spiteful, she treats him generously all her life long. She's quick to assist anyone in need. She reaches out to the help the poor. She makes her own clothing and dresses in colorful linens and silks. Her clothes are well-made and elegant, and she always faces tomorrow with a smile. When she speaks, she has something worthwhile to say, and she always says it kindly. Charm can mislead, and beauty soon fades. The woman to be admired and praised is the woman who lives in the fear of God. Mm. So King Solomon wrote an entire chapter of Proverbs devoted to what his mother taught him about what a good wife ought to be, about the inner beauty and the outward beauty. And as much as beauty can be defined by physical features, it's also defined by character. Um, some characteristics that he focuses on here are that she to, she's to be agreeable, trustworthy, gracious, helpful, generous, kind-hearted, respectful, and wise. That's just to name a few. Oh, boy. Tough, <laughs> tough standards there. Yes, thank you, Lord, for <clears throat> forgiveness. Thank, yes, thank you for grace. Um, but it also says that she's dressed in colorful linens and elegant, well-made clothes. So apparently appearance does matter as well. 
Um, this scripture illustrates how God wants us to be clothed in fine garments of righteousness. And thankfully, because of Jesus, like Kathy yeah. said, we are. Yeah. Um, but as women, God designed each of our personalities creative and unique. And I think we all desire to create beauty and we all um, want to feel beautiful inwardly and outwardly as well. So um, the Lord also says in his scriptures, think on the lilies of the field, that God, the creator of the universe, also created the beautiful fields and clothed the flowers more beautifully than even Solomon himself at the height of his glory. If God can so clothe the flowers of the field, how much more shall he clothe you whom he loves? Mm. Think yes. about the flowers and their beauty, ladies. They're unique, they have brilliant in color, and there's so many varieties, right? There's over 13,000 varieties of roses alone. There's violets, pansies, peonies, daisies, dandelions, um, and there's 25,000 species of orchids. All of these are unique, and they're all different in their color and petal patterns. It's amazing. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. So if you yes. think about these flowers, ladies, remember that God yes. was kind of like the first dressmaker, right? He was the first dress designer. So we want to use his pattern in the flowers to... Um, to show us unique textures and shapes and patterns that we might transfer over to clothing. Um, he clothed Adam and Eve in the garden. Remember when they left the garden? They were cast out and they foolishly tried to use fig leaves to cover themselves. And the Lord, um, he didn't think that was very smart and he gave them the skin of animals, right? So mm -hmm. maybe Eve wore like a leopard dress, who knows? <laughs> leopard is timeless. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> So um, here I just want to share some inspiration using some current fashions and um, maybe even inspire you to take some older pieces out of your wardrobe and mix them up and wear them fresh. Uh, something practical I like to do at home is I make a pin board. Every once in a while I'll go through some magazines of um, some of my favorite stores and I just take a cork board and I will pin some um, pictures that inspire me, outfits that I like that I will try and recreate out of my own wardrobe. So when I have a day that I don't know what to wear, I'm just like other things on my mind, I don't want to worry about it, I'll look at this and I'll dig through my clothes and I'll find something that I can be inspired by. So that's something kind of fun you can try at home. I just hang this in my closet and it's easy to look on. Um, I want to talk about look, looking ageless first, okay? So uh, <laughs> we have a slide. Um, we, we'll call her Irma, and not all of us will look as fabulous as she does at that age, but, you know, I aspire to. She maybe. looks like she's, she's having so a lot of cute, fun. She's cute, right? Yes, she does. Come on, she's adorable. But um, trends can be worn, I think, in moderation at any age. I think um, there's certain tricks that you can do, and um, no matter what stage in life you're in, there's certain things that you can do to try and try new trends. So... Um, we want to use new trends as inspiration, not as an all-out costume. So if you think like um, a little bit of Gypsy instead of Stevie Nicks, or um, <laughs> um, a, an easy way to, uh, like kind of a fail-safe way is to try maybe a monochromatic look. So if you want to try a new trend like a higher waisted with a shorter top, maybe try it in all black, or this outfit here works because it's in grays and whites and blacks. It's kind of monochromatic. So if you want to try something new, stick to one color palette, and that helps to keep it a little safer. Um, also, we're going to talk about timeless classics. So these are trends in the past, past eras that are just always re-evolving. They're making their way mm -hmm. out. Um, I love the glamorous 50s looks, mm -hmm. the um, red lipstick and the swing coats. There's um, the 60s one over here. There's like the high collar and the shift dresses. Um, I paired that with just a lightweight, a lightweight top underneath to give it a little layered look, some moderness, Sweet, a little freshness that. there. So that's fun. And then um, something else I found in our clothing sale was this beautiful coat, super vintage leopard coat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> With the jewel there, it's amazing, ladies. That is so beautiful. There's some good finds. Um, there's the 70s with you know the um, different colors, the bright colors, and... Uh, Another trend right now is the high-waisted with the crop top. So if you want to try doing this, I suggest maybe putting on a cami underneath it that's a tight-fitted um, cami. That way you're not like exposing 
too much. I've seen it done with like a white top and white pants with a white cami. You don't even notice it. It's just like mm. flawless. It's very pretty. But if you want to try um, the shorter cropped tops, that's a good look. And it's, it's feminine. Um, also patterns. Patterns are super fun, and I don't want you to be afraid of them because there's tons of ways that you can use them. Brittany, so, you do that really well. <laughs> thank you. you. Mix, she mixes patterns that I would never think of, but it's, it's sort of that inspiration from the flowers of the field. Again, who would put purple and green together? But yeah. God did, right? Yeah, <laughs> and so, patterns, right? Yeah, I just, I would, um, just encourage you to look for what catches your eye because if something catches your mm -hmm. eye, you'll probably wear it well, you know, if you're confident in it. So mm. um, digital prints are popular. There was this dress over there that I just loved. That is super cool. pretty. I think that's All of these are going to be mm. for sale, two ladies. Mm -hmm. um, you could go for a bolder mix of patterns. This is like a geometric. I took an old um, kind of swing jacket type with a pencil skirt, but it works because the orange squares kind of follow down into the skirt. These are two totally separate pieces, but when you pair them together, they, they work, I think. That is beautiful. So, no, I think that works great. Um, I love that. Thank you. I, think I love that, I, t I did that. Okay, girls. So <laughs> you have to come up afterwards and make your own choices. <laughs> yeah. We uh, maybe like a waiting list. Um, this is like a floral pattern with polka dots or stripes. I think florals mix with anything. They're great. Um, so don't be afraid to mix up different patterns. Like I said, if you like it, chances are you'll wear it really well. Um, plaid is also kind of a timeless thing. I love plaid. I have this outfit, the second one in here. It's just a plaid overshirt, but you can do plaid in a dress or a skirt. You can do pants. Um, it's just kind of like an easy fall winter transition piece. When it gets a little cooler, you can throw it on with a skirt and it makes the outfit a little more casual. Um, stripes. Okay, stripes are classic. They're gonna be timeless. They're, they have a little European look to them, I feel, sometimes also. Um, I don't think they'll ever go out of style. But here I took a striped dress and then I put a striped sweater over it, but their stripes are totally different size, it, but it still, it fits well together. The black and white stripes, I like the um, contrast there. So stripes are just an easy go-to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, something that's becoming really popular right now is the Western culture. So there's like the Western vibe and the bohemian gypsy look. Um, we found this awesome leather skirt here, the third one in, it's this long brown um, suede skirt, beautiful. And um, I just paired it with a t-shirt and a hat, you know, so you don't want to go all out costume. Again, think, you know, you don't want to look like you're going to the rodeo, but you have just a little bit of it in your outfit. You could try a little bit of fringe or embroidery. Boots go with everything. I love boots with a dress, you know. Um, so just just take a little bit of the trend. Yeah, the boots, I love how you've worn, <laughs> she's worn cowboy boots with little floral print dresses. I would never think to do that. I'd do them with jeans or something, but yeah. when I see it with a pretty summer dress that's in floral, it's so cute. Yeah, I love to just mix it up a little bit. Not always what you would think mm -hmm. goes together, you know. Um, there's, this is kind of like a bohemian look, this, um, kimono, they call them, but it's just loose, it's flowy, they come in all different patterns, it's fun, you can wear it over a t-shirt, you can wear it over a dress, you can wear it as bathing suit cover-up, there's lots of different things you can do with these, um, but lots of layers. There's also denim, I, I've heard from a couple different ladies that you're not supposed to mix denim, right? But I love it mixed together, the dark denim and the light denim. You could do a pop of color in your belt. I would wear this denim with my shorts right now. Roll up the sleeves, it'd be really cute. So definitely don't feel um, scared to mix denims. Just make sure they're not all the same tone or you might look like you're in a denim bodysuit or something, but. <laughs> Um, ladies, if you're like me, I have lots of jeans laying around that I don't wear anymore. Not lots, but a few. And um, I, ins I encourage you to maybe take them and cut them into some shorts. I made these last night, and I cut them long <laughs> down to my knees, folded them up. I took a um, Dremel or a sander, but you can use a nail file even. And just rough them up a little bit, you know, so they have that worn look. Um, these are the baggier style. They, you know, I think these were like boot cut or something. But if you take them a size big, if you get a size too big in the jeans. They have a nice, loose, comfortable fit. They call it the 
boyfriend fit right yeah. now yep. in the I've pants, so make some boyfriend shorts. It's so funny how they want <laughs> things to look vintage now. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, our generation might have thought, oh, no, you don't want anything with holes in it or tears in it. And now it's like, no, you pay extra for that. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> right? But I don't want to pay extra. I no, just want to take something yourself. old and make it look like it's, you yeah. know. But um, something I mentioned this morning, too, is if you're going to rough up your jeans, if you're going to make them look old, don't forget, like, the pocket lines, the zipper line. You want it to look old throughout, not just like you stuck a few holes in it, you know? So don't forget the <laughs> details and the edges. Um, whites. Okay, I love white on white. It's not just for summer. It's not just for weddings. I like to pair white dresses with a white sweater over it, white skirts with a white top, maybe with another. But I think whites and beiges and ivories pair really well together. Mm. And don't be afraid to mix them. A white mm. dress with a beige sweater mm -hmm. or... Um, Mix your white palette. It's really pretty. Coco Chanel said, it's definitely okay to wear white after Labor Day. She canceled out that <laughs> rule. <laughs> no longer the 1900, you know, snobby, the gloves and that's, no. So um, whites are good. I wear them year round. I think they're fun. Um, something else I love is a t-shirt. I say anything. You can pair a t-shirt with anything. You can pair it with um, some of these skirts up here to take a more formal look and make it a little more casual. You can, um, like Kathy was wearing that pretty lemon dress last week and she put a t-shirt over the top, you know. Mm -hmm. It's an easy transition piece if you're going out at night or you're working during the day and you're going more casual at night, you can put it on or take it off. Um, but I love a t-shirt, just a white t-shirt with jeans yeah. and a big necklace is a great outfit. I love that so, look too. Yeah. I, they had a picture on the screen just a second ago of you. I don't know, if, Jenny, if you're back there, you can pull it back up again. The one that you just put up, the uh, Brittany was in the corner wearing a really lovely, yes, in the top right corner. That's Brittany there, and she's wearing like a, a cool, you know, hip plaid, almost looking mustard skirt, but she's got it with a t-shirt and a, and a slouchy sweater. I love yeah. that. I Thank remember you. when they took that picture. That was in Philadelphia last year, but... Trevor can make yeah. anybody look good. Yes. No, well, no, it was He's a... a I, I, loved, I loved that whole ensemble. I thought, I don't know, could I pull that off? I don't know. Could yes, I wear a t-shirt? definitely. With <laughs> we'll go through your closet. We'll find you a t-shirt. I, I, I need the right t-shirt. Yeah. I like the one you're wearing, by the way. That's oh. really cute. Uh, that's not for sale, I suppose. This no? is mine. <laughs> but there are lots. There's a whole section of the rack in, well, that are cool. just t-shirts, This little ladies. Beatles one in, in the front is pretty the fun, Beatles too. The Beatles one, yeah. super cute. And it's just a fun. white t-shirt. A white, yeah. like, you know, they Plain, have them at Gap. J, like a J. Crew white t-shirt or Gap, Gap or something. Forever mm -hmm. 21, a couple dollars, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be white, but I just think white's really fresh. Right. So um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was, well, not the last, but almost last, is layering, mm -hmm. ladies. So they say, like, less is more, but in clothing, I think more is more. So I <laughs> encourage you to layer some pieces. I like the lighter pieces underneath and maybe a chunky sweater over it. Or um, this was an example of a, a, just a simple black dress with a, a T-shirt tied over it. Um, here I put, like, a lightweight dress. This one's see-through, so I would suggest a slip under it, but slips are amazing. If you don't own one, they're definitely a closet staple, I think. You can wear them under sheer dresses, which are popular. You could just wear them as an extra layer of warmth. Um, a lot of the slips are like double, they're almost like dresses now, mm -hmm. and that's okay, but put something over it too. Put like a sweater, put a, um, a kimono or something. You could put, tie a scarf with it, but mix up your patterns, mix up your layers. There's a lot of these um, really thin chiffon like tops. They're beautiful, but you know, just put a little cami under them. They sell them for two dollars at Forever Twenty One. I think I saw one for like a dollar eighty. Mm. You know, you can get every color and just put them on under beautiful. some of these shirts. Um, mm. This was a fall look. Again, this is all from the sale. I just went through the racks and I pulled all this stuff just to kind of inspire you, ladies. Um, so we mixed just a cardigan, a top, the lace bottom here for fall, some skinny jeans maybe. Um, and again, I just really encourage you to look at your own closets and maybe pull out some pieces that you haven't worn and try mm. them with something different. So, so um, okay. shoes, I think flats are good all year round. They're comfortable, they're good all day. Um, wedges, like what I'm wearing here, they are um, comfortable, they give you the height but they're the height all the way around so you can wear them longer. 
Um, and then boots. Boots are not just fall and winter, but I wear them during the summer, mm -hmm. there's spring, there's so many different varieties. Those short ones, like Kathy yeah. said, are great with dresses and skirts. So don't be afraid to rock boots all year long. Those are fun. Mm -hmm. And um, the last thing I want to talk about is accessories. And these are, these can make an outfit. <clears throat> so sometimes just a pop of color is good, like with a belt or a statement necklace, like I said, with a t-shirt. Um, it just ties an outfit together. Scarves are great. They can be used in your hair, around your neck, around your waist, around your, um, I don't know, wrist. But purse, tie a scarf on your purse. That's mm -hmm. super cute. And then um, <clears throat> lastly, don't forget lipstick can be a great accessory. So sometimes a pop of color like some red lips or some like bright pink or I'm wearing coral tonight. But it's fun to try new things, but maybe don't try them all at once. Stick with, <laughs> stick with one thing at a time. Or you're going to look like that lady. What would we call or her? Or you might look like um, Irma. Irma, I think there I you go. <laughs> she was adorable. I would not be sad if I looked like her yes. in a few But years. if you're going to wear it, wear it like Irma <laughs> confidently, boy. Yes, confidence, <laughs> with confidence. So yes. find patterns you like. Oh, so find cute. patterns you like and um, Wear them with confidence, ladies, because if you like them, they'll look good on you. Um, so mm -hmm. if you're going to shop our repurpose sale or you just want to go vintage shopping, um, I encourage you to scan quickly for things that pop out at you. You can, um, if you find items that are oversized a little bit, remember belts are great. You can take an oversized coat like this leopard one with a belt. It makes a whole new outfit. A shift dress becomes new with a belt, just a different style. Um, also... Hemming is very easy. Most of you, I'm sure, can hem a straight line, if not seamstresses or your friends. And um, if a dress is long, you could turn it into a midi skirt. You know, those are popular. Or if it's kind of an awkward length, bring it right above your knee, you know? So don't forget you can hem things. And lastly, if you just love a pattern and you can't wear it, you know, think about other things you could use it for, pot holders or um, a a pillow cover or turn it into a scarf or you know there's fun uses for these items when they're priced really well and next week they are going to be priced really really well like two dollars pants five dollars skirts shorts two three dollars dresses two for five dollars and we have a ton so That's just amazing. some fun stuff okay that is great well, i hope you all come back next week because all that yes thank you Brittany. that was excellent all the money that is raised from the repurposed clothing sale is going to go into the Virtue um, budget, into the Virtue account, and we'll use it for the ministry, which is awesome. So you can have some fun shopping, and it'll go to a good cause. So.